My heart sank when I punctured. Initially, I thought, yeah, maybe I can get, still get a medal. Then in the last few laps, it all sort of kind of coming back to me. And then I believed that I could still win. To be honest, I haven't really like sat down and just like looked it in, like taken in. But um, well, that's what I, this is what I wanted. This is what I worked so hard for. What I wanted since since Tokyo to, to defend my medal. I guess kind of going in as favourite, I could only live up to expectations. Also for me, I this is all you know, silver and bronze. I was not really okay. That would have also been nice, but this is what I wanted. You know. My heart sank when I punctured and. Then, you know, you, you quickly, okay, right, there's no point in you know, dwelling on it. You've got to focus on what, what I can do to get out of this situation with the best result. So, yeah, first of all, get to the pits, change the wheel, and then, yeah, focus on coming back back to the front. I didn't, I didn't care about any other positions. I, at first, I thought, you know, I can get bronze here because, you know, I just opened the race up. I'd made a big effort. The whole field had made a big effort at this point. And when I came back out the pits, I was behind people who were kind of you know, trying to recover. So I was getting held up on the parts where you can't overtake and there's not many opportunities to overtake. So I was you know, wasting a lot of energy overtaking and not making the time I could have for the effort I was putting in. It was, it was very, at one point my coach counted 44 seconds to the front, so. That's a long way on a course like that. It's so fast. Yeah, I think the, the, the competitors, it's, yeah, it's difficult. Like, of course, you know, Goretzky, French guy, I knew he was going to be good, or maybe he could have cracked under the pressure. You just don't know. I knew how fast he was. I think when I came back from the puncher, when I caught him, I knew I had to get rid of him because I knew he would have a good chance in the last lap. And I knew, he went in front, which didn't surprise me at all. Um, you know, he attacked up the climb. I knew if I could stay close, I would have a better chance. You know, I would have a chance at the finish because I think I've got better, you know, endurance. So I would just have to take any opportunity like the one I took that came. And luckily that I got that opportunity. I mean, I understand it, but the, the, it's the Olympics, you know, it's... There's no place for that in the Olympics. And on, when I was racing, I was getting booze as well, and people telling me to slow down and stuff. But that, you know, I kind of people. I've had people tell me to slow down before. You know, when you're coming back and the person there supporting you in front. But after the finish, you know, you should kind of appreciate everyone's effort that they've put into the race and and, and what they've put in has given them that result. And you know, it's finished now. Okay, you've you've supported. You've done your part in supporting who you want to support, but then at the finish, you, you kind of, okay, well done. You, know, you don't have to like me, or but you should respect what's happened. And it kind of put a bit of a dampening on the, on celebrating. I couldn't really celebrate with people booing, you know? It didn't feel right. Yeah, the, the most important thing is to enjoy what you're doing, to believe in what you're doing. And that's how you get the most out of yourself. And, Otherwise, you know, if you're if you're living someone else's dream or someone else's goal, it's not the same. You can't extract what you you can if if it's what you really believe in, what you really want to do, and also to keep things exciting, to, to new challenges and yeah, keep keep myself on my toes doing different disciplines and different goals. Um, I've got quite a short attention span, so I kind of need to. Did you know that less than half of Brits eat breakfast every day of the week? I mean, that's amazing, but why? Well, it's because we're all time poor, especially in the mornings, so we compromise. My fix is Huel's Nutritionally Complete High Protein Shake, a complete meal in a bottle that slots perfectly into my life. Head to the link in the description for a free t-shirt on your first order with Huel. How can you resist that?